What's up? 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 What's up, everyone? I'm Millie. I'm an influencer coach, and welcome back to my channel. YouTube play button. I still can't believe that I have one of these. And the journey to get here took about a year, but this is how I got 250,000 subscribers in about two years and how you can do it too. Let's start this story somewhere else. YouTube channel, the first thing that you're going to have to overcome is fear. And uh, we all experience fear or discomfort in our own ways. For some, maybe you're too nervous or hesitant to start a channel because you're worried about what other people will think of you. Maybe you don't like the way you look on camera or you feel uncomfortable watching yourself back with footage. For me personally, I hate filming in public, which is why I was like, I need to film this one in public, literally like, I think for me, it's like, you never know what other people are going to think of you. You can only assume that they're judging or thinking the worst of you, or they're gonna film you filming yourself and you're gonna end up in influencers in the wild or whatever. But something that's helped me tremendously is understand that you have no control how others perceive you or what others think of you. You only have control over what you do, your thoughts, your actions, or even the actions that you're ignoring to take. always loved making videos. I was that little girl who would grab her parents' camcorder and find the sparkliest dress she could find to lip sync to Hit Me Baby one more time. So when YouTube came out, it was natural for my brother and I to start a YouTube channel together in 2009, which we posted to on and off for about nine years. Now, what the heck does this have to do with hitting 250,000 subscribers in two years? Well, the first 57 videos of my career were created with the sole intent to create have fun, not care what anybody thought about me. Granted, it was easier because when you're a kid, you just don't care what anybody thinks about you. But that's kind of my point. Create with the intent to have fun. Try to have that childlike faith again and not care what other people think of you. Just film, create, and post. Let's talk about this whole pick a niche thing. Do you need to pick your niche? Yes and no. Picking a niche will absolutely benefit you. That's why everybody says to niche down. You're able to grow your channel faster because one, it helps the algorithm understand what your channel is about and knows who to push your content to, but also two, it makes your content easily bingeable so that if somebody comes across one of your videos, they want to continue to binge the rest of your videos. So if you're posting about fitness, Amazon fashion, and then flipping a house, it's going to be harder for the algorithm to understand the overall theme of your channel. But if you don't know what your niche is, that's totally okay. Instead, what you're going to focus on is who you're trying to reach or the unique approach that you bring to the table. For example, if you want to reach stay-at-home moms, then think about the type of videos they're looking up on YouTube. What type of content would they click on and make that? Or let's say maybe you do want to make videos about Amazon fashion, fitness tips, and how you flip a house. Think about the overall theme that relates all of those videos together. You. Your uniqueness. For example, if you're a college student, you can make videos like how to stay in shape as a busy college student or Amazon fashion under $20 for broke college students or even how I flipped my first house while going to school full time. Picking a niche can absolutely help you grow way faster. That's what I did. That's how I was able to grow in such a short amount of time. But that's going to look different for everyone. So in the beginning, if you're struggling, don't worry about strategy. Don't worry about having that right video. Just create, just post. There doesn't have to be a theme or a niche if that's what's stopping you. For example, my very first videos were me telling ghost stories on an abandoned train, doing a drunk boyfriend tag, vlogging myself moving to LA for the first time, vlogging a trip to Yosemite. There's 
there's so much randomness that started my channel, so don't think that you have to have it all figured out in the very beginning. Now, I've studied my top performing videos on YouTube to see what made them stand out. Why did they blow up on YouTube? What made them so clickable? Now, before I share with you the three reasons why I think they went viral on YouTube, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, HubSpot. So if you're somebody who maybe you're posting to YouTube and you haven't been able to be consistent with it, or you are having a hard time managing and planning your social media content, then we have a handy calendar guide and template linked for you below. This social media content calendar is completely free. And the best part was it was created by HubSpot, which as you know, is the sponsor of this video. They wanted to give all of you this tool completely for free. My team and I swear by social media content calendars. We post to Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, a blog, Pinterest, my email newsletter. So having organization is key if you want to show up consistently on any social media platform. When you plan your social media content and activities in advance, you're able to make it easier to coordinate your posts, grow your reach and engagement, scale your platforms, and overall boost your productivity. I think it's amazing when brands want to share free value with other entrepreneurs and influencers and anybody in my audience. So thank you so much HubSpot for sponsoring this video. So the secret, the key for how my top videos were able to go viral comes down to three factors. Early adaptation, following trends, and filling in the gaps. Let me explain. My best performing video right now followed early adaptation and following trends. That video was the ultimate Instagram Reels tutorial, the very first Instagram Reels tutorial video that I made. Now, the reason this one blew up is because I made this video the week Instagram Reels came out. So as soon as Reels came out that day, I was on my phone getting familiar with the platform, studying what Instagram had said about the algorithm and all the things, and then making my own video, teaching people how to use it so that they could see success. Instead of resisting Reels, I became an early adapter, and because of that, I was one of the first YouTube videos up that had to do with Instagram Reels. That also kind of goes into following trends, Short form video is such a huge deal right now. And at the time was such a huge deal. It was blowing up. And so I was following the trend of, hey, create short form video, being an early adapter and creating a resource for people to go to. Now this video that blew up, this is probably my second best performing video. The reason that one blew up was for that third reason and that is filling in the gaps. When I knew that I wanted Instagram to be my niche, I was on YouTube a lot studying how to grow on Instagram, how to do this, how to do that. And every time I would search for something, I noticed that I, whenever I couldn't find an answer for something, I was like, ooh, that would be a good video topic. So, there was a common search that I was doing because I wanted to learn how to make my own edit style because the whole aesthetic feed was such a thing. And so I would look how to make an Instagram aesthetic or how to make your Instagram feed match. And there was no resources that taught somebody how to do it for their own style. There was a bunch of videos out there that was like, this is how I edit my videos. This is how I do this. This is how I edit my photos, blah, 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 blah. So it was showing that specific, that specific person's editing style, but that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for a resource that would teach me how to edit photos my own way. If I wanted it warm and like vintage, how do I edit that? But if I wanted it bright and happy, how would I edit photos to fit my own need, niche, and vibe? Now my videos aren't the only proof that these three things matter and exist and help your videos and your channel ultimately blow up. You could look at other creators like Emma Chamberlain and one of her very, very first videos that really took off her channel was a conspiracy theory video. Was Emma Chamberlain this huge conspiracy theory guru teaching all these conspiracy theories? No, but it was her unique approach of adapting a trend. So. Shane Dawson was huge at the time with doing conspiracy theory videos. And there's a bunch of YouTubers that were doing these sort of conspiracy theory type videos. And Emma Chamberlain took it upon herself to put her unique twist to it, where she did conspiracy theories about other YouTubers. And of course her unique personality, Sean, shined, shined, 
Her personality really shined through that video. So one, she was able to adapt to a trend. Two, instead of having a niched channel, she made herself the niche. Like I was saying earlier, when you find your uniqueness and the unique approach that you have, that can help you stand out just like it did with Emma Chamberlain. Now, at the end of the day, if you want to be a YouTuber, it's simple. Just don't give up. I know, easier said than done. But all you have to do if you want to be a YouTuber is just show up consistently and consistency is going to look different for everybody. So if you can post once a week, great. If you can post once a month, great. Don't compare your YouTube schedule to anybody else's. Just show up. And if you do that consistently and you never give up, it will happen for you. One of my favorite things to teach or to tell my students is the word desire. If you're somebody, you have a desire to be a YouTuber, you want to be a YouTuber, that's something that's been in your heart and your soul and your mind, body, wherever it's been inside of you for the longest time, your desires were given to you for a reason. Literally the word desire, day, sire, Latin root, day, meaning of the, sire, father, whether you believe in God, mother nature, science, crystals, the universe, whatever it is you believe, the desires that you have were placed inside of you for a reason. And the reason is that they were meant to come to fruition. So instead of being selfish and hiding all of that unique goodness inside of you and being scared of that uniqueness you hold inside of you, be shamelessly yourself, go for it, run for your passions, run towards your passion, follow your joy and follow the things that you've always wanted to do. When you do that, you won't regret it. The world wants to see everything that you have to offer. I want to see all of your dreams and joys come true. So if you're somebody who you don't have a YouTube channel yet, you're ready to get it up and running. You need help planning your first month of content. I do have a free training, completely free, doesn't sell you anything. It's completely free. It's like an hour um, and it teaches you how to set up your YouTube channel and how to come up with your first month of content. However, if you already have a YouTube channel and you want to see the behind the scenes of my entire YouTube process from ideation, scripting, filming, editing, posting, all of the things, then watch this video next where I show you everything behind the process for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.